This is a Game Caviar production. All right, not having it in the Game Caviar studio playing some Borderlands 2 True Vault Hunter mode. Uh, this is on PC. And today I wanted to talk about Borderlands 3. Not the pre sequel that's coming out this year. I know that's coming out. And I'm not talking about the Vita game that's coming out this year. I'm talking about straight up Borderlands 3. And I haven't heard any information of it yet. I know that it's probably not going to be any information out for a long time after the pre-sequel comes out. But um, I, I noticed that at the end of Borderlands 2, where they show the map of all the vaults, I wanted to text you on that to see if it's even going to be uh, referenced or... Why, why would I have to do that? I don't want any of that. If it's going to be uh, talked about in the next Borderlands, because what I would like to see is a. Uh, Let me know when you're ready to go meet with Sir Hammerlock, minion. Why did they just force me to take that gun? I hate when this game does that. Anyway, uh, when uh, when they showed the map and it had all those planets with vaults on it, what I would like to see, and I posted this on Twitter. I would like to see in Borderlands 3, it's a nice ROM right there, but I want to have them implement that and reference that to where you go to those different planets and then you have a, a different set of quests for each planet that you go on and each planet has its own vault with its own uh, protector of the vault, kind of like the warrior. At the same time, if you do that though, the game would be lacking a a, a an antagonist like Handsome Jack in Borderlands 2. So maybe they could come out with somebody else that's doing the same thing, or I don't know how they can switch it. But it it would seem like <clears throat> if they do that, it would add some depth to the game. Now the games themselves are are pretty in depth. I mean, you have the um with the uh, DLC and the story itself is pretty in depth. All the side quests that you have are add depth to the game and help play help the replayability as far in as well as the uh, the extra gaming modes that you can play after you beat the game. So uh, I'm not worried about that. But the idea that I came up with it it sounded good on paper. I don't know how great it would be implemented in in a game, but um uh. It, it just seems like something that, well, you know, why would they put that in Borderlands 2 if they're not going to plan on using it in another Borderlands game? You, you see what I'm saying? And uh, I like the pre-sequel. I think it's going to be awesome. But at the same time, looking forward past Borderlands, the, uh, the pre-sequel, uh, what are they going to have in store for a Borderlands 3? And uh, that's just something that came to mind. And I haven't really done any research and on Borderlands 3. Like I said earlier, I don't think it's going to be any information out there on the internet uh, for it right now. Not with the pre-sequel coming out in the game that they're making for Vita. Uh, while we're talking about Vita, I've played, I have Borderlands 2 on Vita. And, it, and although it has some times where the frame rate drops a little bit, it is a great port. It's definitely something that... Uh, I would like to see Sony do. I know they were coming out with like a Bioshock, but then it ended up getting killed uh, and they weren't going to do it. But uh, I would like to see Sony and uh, the developers really just go and and put more ports on Vita because the Vita is, is it's a handheld game, of course, but uh, it's a handheld gaming platform, but it's powerful enough to, that you can take these ports like Borderlands and you can make them, even if it's not a direct port, you can make it to where you can bring those games to Vita. And I think that that would be an amazing thing for the Vita. The remote play between Vita and PS4 works well, though. I do know that. Uh, let's see here. I have a skill point that I need to use. Killing the enemy grants you bonus movement speed and causes a shield to regenerate. Fine, why not? Uh, this gun that I'm using right now is the Rapid Infinity with Corrosion. You know, something that you have to farm. Uh, I beat this game a lot of times, so I'm going to be upfront and say that this is... I did not farm it on the PC. I used the save game mod. 
Uh, I would not have done that if I hadn't have already beaten the hell out of this game on PlayStation and on PlayStation 3 and the Vita. So uh, I just I, I got a great deal. It was part of the Steam sale when I got this game, and I was like, you know, and I don't I don't really I don't really feel like dealing with going through that. Like I like playing the game, but after I've gone through the grind of beating it, I definitely did not want to do it again. Uh, but. Uh, it's just it comes down to me being a lazy ass and uh, The safe edit was out there and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it out So a lot of these game a lot of these guns you can get in the game like you can farm this one the rapid infinity and let's see what else I have I have the uh, The corporate bitch. I don't know where you farm that from but this one you get this uh, what is it Doc Mercy? You can get it from him uh, the one thing about these legendary weapons is that you can get them from anything that drops a, a a gun any loot source a chest or anything but the percentage uh, of the the chance of them happening uh, is very low so I know on a on the Vita I got a whiskey tank of foxtrot from some random uh, some random animal that I was killing in the desert and I thought that was pretty cool but uh, the thing that goes along with farming these weapons is that it will take a while to do it so it's cool when you get one but actually grinding forward and farming these these bosses or these areas where these weapons are normally dropped will take a while but anyway uh, without this file size becoming too damn big I just want to wrap up um, what do you think of is going to be in Borderlands 3. Let's look past the pre-sequel because we have information on the pre-sequel, but let's look at what they're going to do for Borderlands 3. Uh, if they're, I mean, if they, I, I'm guessing that they're going to make a Borderlands 3, but if they don't, then that would be terrible. I know they're making a, a totally different game, so we might not even see a Borderlands 3 for some time, unless they have two teams, one working on Borderlands 3 and another one working on that new uh, game that they're coming out with, so it may be a while before we even see a Borderlands 3 or even hear about it, but in case they do come out with a Borderlands 3, what type of things would you like to see? I mean, is the idea of going from planet to planet and going from vault to vault something that you would like to play? Uh, or would you like to see it go in a totally different direction? So let me know. Anyway, not having it at Game Caviar Lounge. I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.